So recently, Xiaomi had a big launch event in China where the company launched a lot of stuff, including its third generation foldable phone, the Mix Fold 3, the Xiaomi Pad 6 Max tablet, the Xiaomi Band 8 Pro, the Redmi K60 Ultra, and even a robot dog named the CyberDog 2. A couple of these products are coming to the global market soon, one of which is the Redmi K60 Ultra. In my video on the K60 Ultra, I said that there are reports of this phone coming to the global market as the Xiaomi 13T Pro. Well, looks like those reports are indeed right. Because now we have the official renders of the Xiaomi 13T Pro and these renders confirm the fact that it is a rebrand of the Redmi K60 Ultra. Last year, the Redmi K50 Ultra came to the global market as the Xiaomi 12T Pro but with some changes in the camera department. And this year too, there are some significant upgrades in the cameras of the 13T Pro. Before talking about all of that, let us first talk about the changes in the design, even though there aren't much. First and the most obvious difference is the branding on the back. So the 13T Pro says Xiaomi instead of Redmi. But the next difference is pretty significant. The Xiaomi 13T Pro has the Leica branding on the camera module which is missing on the Redmi K60 Ultra. This means the phone has Leica optics and some Leica specific software features as well in the camera app. This also makes the Xiaomi 13T Pro the first phone under the T series to feature Leica optics. Finally, the 13T Pro is coming in a new blue color option which has a leather texture on the back. As mentioned earlier, the camera department will be a lot different than the Redmi K60 Ultra. In fact, each of the camera sensors on the 13T Pro is different than what the K60 Ultra has. The primary camera on the 13T Pro has a Sony IMX707 sensor compared to the Sony IMX800 on the K60 Ultra. Now don't go by the names because even though it seems like IMX800 is a better sensor than the IMX707, it is the other way around. The IMX707 is a larger sensor than the IMX800 and this sensor was also used in the Xiaomi 12S and 12S Pro last year. Speaking of the ultra wide camera, the Xiaomi 13T Pro has a 13 megapixel sensor, whereas the Redmi K60 Ultra has an 8 megapixel sensor. And finally, while the Redmi K60 Ultra has a useless 2 megapixel macro camera, the Xiaomi 13T Pro has a 50 megapixel sensor with a telephoto lens. There could be more differences between the 13T Pro and the K60 Ultra, but for now, this is all we know. So, assuming that the rest of the specifications are unchanged, the Xiaomi 13T Pro has a 6.67 inch 1.5K 12-bit OLED display with up to 144Hz refresh rate and a peak brightness of 2600 nits. The battery size is 5000mAh and the phone supports 120W fast charging. Finally, there is the MediaTek Dimensity 9200 Plus chipset and the phone runs on MIUI 14 based on Android 13. As for the global launch, many reports have claimed that the Xiaomi 13T Pro is launching on September 1st at the IFA Berlin. So that is all about this video and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.